Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a 3D cab into a uh, legacy MSTS locomotive in o for open rails. Um, so first thing you're going to start with is you need to find a locomotive that you're going to use. In this case I'm going to be using this uh, version 4 F7A from 3D Trains. Um, you're also going to need a donor cab. Uh, at the time of this video there isn't a lot of 3D cabs available outside of payware products. Um, I can't distribute and you should not distribute any of the 3D cabs contained within those 3D products, but you can use them for your own personal use. So for today I'm going to be using the 3D cab offer off of 3D Trains Payware uh, Open Rail specific F7A. Um, so in order to transfer this, first you're going to want to open the ENG file for your locomotive you're going to install the 3D cabin. Uh, so this is BNSF 738, uh, here's BN738. Um, you're going to want to then go back to your donor locomotive with the 3D cab and copy over the 3D cab view file into your new locomotive. Uh, maintain the older uh, 2D cab view because uh, open rails will also default to that in case there's an issue with the 3D one. Uh, next thing you want to do is go to your donor locomotive um, and open up its engine file, which is 300L. And you're going to want to scroll down, or you can search for cab. And you're going to find this line immediately under sound, which is ORTS 3D cab and then the uh, descriptions of it. Uh, you're going to want to copy everything from O to the second parentheses, no more, no less, and that's to preserve the formatting in your new engine file. So you can go ahead and copy that over, and then you can close out of your donor locomotive's engine file. Now head back on over to your new locomotive's engine file, and you're going to want to search for sound and hit enter. Now you're going to see the outside sound, and then underneath that engine, and then your engine type. You're going to want to remove this parenthesis, and then paste your donor locomotive's 3D cab view code in. Add one space to preserve the uh, formatting and then a tab and then you can save and exit. Now your 3D look your 3D cab will be loaded in the next time you load up the simulator with this locomotive. So I will go ahead and demonstrate that now. When open rails loads it'll default you into the 3D cab for the first time. When you exit for an external view, you'll have to use Alt-1 to enter into the 3D cab again. 1 still sends you to the two-dimensional cab. As you can see, we are now in the 3D cab, and boy does it look great. All of the levers are functional, as well as the gauges and even switches on the dashboard controlling the generator field, fuel pump, and other era-specific details. Uh, shadows are cast in the cab from scenery and all of the gauges, lights, levers cast shadows upon the cab as the light moves across. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope this helped you install a 3D cab into a legacy locomotive.